And with me in studio now is Mr. Riggs Eckleberry. He's the CEO of Origin Oil, O-O-I-L. This is Doc Simmel. Riggs, always good to see you. And you, Doc. You know, it's perfect that you're here because on the way into the studio today, I drove by a gas station and the price of gas for premium was four bucks. I think it was like 402. And when we see the price of gasoline starting to get into those stratospheric levels again, that's really got to play into what you folks are doing. Yeah, four dollars, surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. There are many factors that say, look, the price of oil is going to go up. Uh, just today I was reporting in my blog, originalceo.com, about the, 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 the fact that the Saudis have unreported, underreported their oil reserves. Mm. And that they actually think that their price of oil will go up because output is going to plateau as early as next year. Wow. Now, what that means is, obviously, when you have less of something, you're going to charge more of it. Mm -hmm. And we have, you know, depreciating dollars, et cetera. So rising oil prices is a fact. What does that mean? Number one, of course, alternative fuels become much more interesting and, and profitable. Number two, the oil and gas companies and the sovereign funds have much more money to put into that. Yeah. And as a third major factor, which is they all want to do something about their CO2 emissions. Mm -hmm. Clean coal is now part of our national energy policy. Uh, it's obvious we've got a lot of coal. We're right. going to use it up worldwide, and America's got you know, by far the largest uh, available reserves. OK, what do we do with it? Well, it's got to be brown washed. Right. And that's where algae comes in, because it is the cheapest and fastest way to do that. Now, I would just have to think that with um, everything that you just described, and then, of course, what you haven't mentioned, of course, is that we have many more develop developing countries that are now wanting oil, so there's much more demand, a much more limited supply. It really has to accelerate what you folks are trying to do. Yes, and, you know, we've been sort of waiting for the other f foot to drop. We had a recession, mm -hmm. oil demand dropped, algae companies coming out in into the market uh, after us had a hard time getting funded. And now we're like, whoa, oil prices really are taking off. Mm -hmm. At the time of the recession, I predicted on live TV and on Fox, uh, a rival channel, <laughs> that, uh, that in fact this would happen. There'd be this, this catch-up factor after the recession, and that's what we're going to see. You know, we always support these fledgling uh, networks like Fox and CBS and NBC, so no problem there. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what do you think has to happen short term to uh, get it to the next level? Algae? Algae. Very simple. We just keep on uh, proving and scaling up these CO2 absorption platforms. Mm -hmm. These big, you know, take the emissions, make algae. Oh, and by the way, there's products, but we're really focusing on sucking up the CO2 to make that a viable model that the big guys, the petroleum companies and so forth, can look at and go, okay, it, it pencils out, it works. And governments can say, you know what, clean coal, you got it, and I get going. You know, every time you come on the program, it's almost like another piece in the puzzle that we're talking about. I really appreciate how you bring that to us. Again, Origin Oil, O-O-I-L is a stock symbol. Riggs, as always, thanks so much. Thank you.